Minneapolis is coming off a violent weekend. Five people were killed within two days and tonight Hoosiers came together to march for peace and call for an end to all of this violence. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Eaton. Dan and Fanchon are both off tonight. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan was at the march tonight and Mike, what was their message? Well, simply put, enough is enough. Gun violence in Indianapolis continues to rip apart families and communities. There are five people who lost their lives this weekend and even more injured from gun violence. This walk is meant to get the neighbors off the sidelines and into the solution. In any conflict, any unresolved issue. We pray God for moms and dads, sisters and brothers. A point comes where words only do so much. We can't stand for this anymore. So we've got to fight. Action is what is needed. There is no one silver bullet, so we have to find a way to galvanize as a community. This is why people are marching on the northwest side, marching to be seen, marching to be heard, marching to quiet gun violence. When they are investing in it, then you want to jump in on that. This past weekend, 11 people were shot in Indy, five was in their life. It is getting worse. Just blocks from Barnes United Methodist Church, a four-year-old was shot outside a funeral home, her family already in mourning. This happened in my neighborhood where I pastor. Reverend Charles Harrison calling it unacceptable. Meanwhile, the child's cousin calling for people to take a stand. Spread love. Yeah, That's all that yeah, matters. Spread love. Her loved one is expected to make a full recovery. This community, however, remains fractured. Starts with us. Nothing's going to change unless we change it. Neighborhoods like the one we're in here in Unwa get unfairly uh, labeled as being a violent place and a terrible place to be because of a small number of people. It's that majority now watching as the march goes by. Probably feel relieved that they see us. We got a little ways to go. Neighbors like Elmer Quarles couldn't help but hop in mid walk. So, what you yeah. gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna walk for the car. His hope being each step. You certainly can touch these wicked hearts. Yes is a step in the right direction. This peace walk is only the beginning. A group of clergy members met this morning to discuss the violence. They're planning a larger peace march for the end of the month, and they hope to have a thousand people. In the newsroom, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. All right, thanks a lot.